Hi everybody, Bob Preston here with North County Property Group and I wanted to tell you about two different types of property management services we offer for two distinct categories of rental homes. One type is the long-term unfurnished rental and the other would be a furnished vacation rental home. And oftentimes when I'm speaking with a new client, they'll ask me, hey, Bob, which way should I go and which way would provide me with the best rate of return? So I'm dedicating today's video update to distinguishing between these two types of rentals and what way would I recommend going long term or vacation rental for your investment property. Let's start with the long term rental. This is the most common type of rental property. It's the majority of our rental portfolio and involves finding a tenant for a long term lease on a home that is typically unfurnished. The websites we use to advertise and promote these long term rentals would include Zillow, Hotpads, Homes.com, and Realtor.com. And along with others, there are a bunch of them, hundreds of different sites. The tenant would typically move into the property along with his or her own possessions, usually remaining in the home for a year. Typically, the tenant would also pay all the utilities, all other expenses along the way. Such long term rentals provide owners, in my opinion, with the most secure and steady cash flow while keeping their overhead as low as possible. So let's talk about the pros of long term renting. That would be steady cash flow, tenants pay all the utilities, property is rented unfurnished, and overhead is relatively low. There are some cons along the way that tenancy is formed after 30 days. If you have a bad renter or you want to get the renter out of the property, an eviction process will typically be required. Okay, so let's talk about the other category, short-term rentals, sometimes referred to as vacation rentals. In this scenario, the home is furnished, fully equipped with all the utilities and amenities provided by the owner. The marketing sites for vacation rentals, as you've probably heard, would include Airbnb, VRBO, TripAdvisor, and more recently, Booking.com. Renters book reservations in the property while on vacation for a short-term stay possibly nightly or even maybe for a week at a time. The cash flow can be good on short-term rentals, especially during peak periods like summer or Christmas vacation periods, but there also may be vacancy gaps between seasonal highs and lows. The wear and tear can also be quite high on vacation rentals and potential for damage is higher due to multiple turns of people having a good time in the property. So the pros are higher income during peak seasons. The home can be used by you when you're on vacation and for personal stays for your own enjoyment. The cons, well, the property is more likely to be susceptible to damage. There could be gaps in rental income during off seasons and the home has to be furnished all amenities, all aspects fully equipped that's paid by you. And there's relatively high overhead because you're also paying for the Wi-Fi, the cable, the heating, all the utilities. And also, just so you're aware, what we're seeing more of in certain communities are neighbors now objecting to the constant turn of renters coming in and out of the property. And in some cases, we're seeing local ordinances that restrict the vacation rental type uh, owner from doing so in that particular neighborhood. I should also note that our property management fees are typically higher on a vacation rental because well, there's a constant turning and cleaning of the unit to prepare it for the next arriving renter. Now, what should you do with your investment property? Should you make it a long-term rental or a short-term rental? Well, I typically guide prospective clients of ours at North County Property Group based on a set of questions that I ask them and then help them decide what is right for them based on those answers. So the first question is, Pretty simple, why did you buy or why do you want to own the property? If your purpose for owning the property and investing is for income and appreciation on a steady basis over a long period of time, or perhaps it's your permanent home that you're vacating temporarily, maybe to take a different job and you plan on coming back, then I would lean in that case towards renting it on a long-term basis. If the home is clearly a second home in San Diego, maybe on the coast, that you've purchased primarily for your personal enjoyment in San Diego County, and you also plan to use it with your family on vacation, well, that might lean then towards keeping it as a short-term or vacation rental. The other question I always like to ask pertains to your income goals and cash flow needs for the property and which program therefore might be right for you. If you're seeking steady cash flow coming in every month 
and it's needed to support your lifestyle or pay the mortgage perhaps or perhaps or other bills so you can hang on to the property long term that's more oriented towards a long-term rental approach if rental income is nice to have when you're not using the home but it's not a have to have for you to hang on to the property and use it for you and your family well okay that's another good reason to keep it as a short-term rental i actually have these questions and answers outlined in a table and I would suggest that you refer to it to help you determine your particular profile. I'll make sure that that gets posted where you can find it. Here's one final insight that I'd like to leave with you before we wrap up today. And this is from my years of experience and my opinion from being in this business and helping property owners and investors like yourselves take a pencil to the math on these two potential propositions. If you take time to calculate the overall finances, factoring in rent rates, gaps in the rental, stay vacancies, the overhead and expenses on both approaches, you're likely going to find out and determine that it comes out to kind of a wash, right? A 50-50 proposition. And in those cases, in other words, all things being equal, it's much more secure and safer to go with a long-term approach unless you fit well into the short-term rental profile. Hey, thank you for tuning in in this video update at North County Property Group. We would be happy to consult with you to see if our property management services might be right for you. So I'm hoping you'll give us a call or visit our website to learn more. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.